So this is a day in my life, working from home and just living life. This is just a typical day. So I'm starting off with some breakfast and I'm doing good because usually I don't eat breakfast before I get started with work. <laughs> So I'm off of work. Now we are going to the grocery store. And I think I'm going to pick them up a pizza. And um, <clears throat> I don't know. I'm going to grab me something quick. Because I don't feel like cooking tonight. And I just want to relax. We've Hi. made it. We've made it through the week. And it was, it's been rough. It's been rough for me. Rough for the kids. <laughs> it, school. And we got, you know, those holiday breaks are coming up. I'm looking forward to those breaks because you know how much work it is to get them to school every day on time and homework done and everything all together and stuff. So it's time for a break, a nice break, you know. But anyways, we're going to the grocery store. All right, so I'm back from the grocery store. I'm putting up groceries. And um, <clears throat> I'm going to do something quick tonight. I, I got, oh, I said I was going to do pizza. I'm throwing pizza in the oven and I got some shrimp. And um, that's that's it. I'm probably, I might, I learned how to make egg drop soup on my own. And it comes out really good. I've tried to make it in the past, but um, it never really turned out like the restaurant. And so I learned that it was just missing turmeric. And so it was like the right color that I was wanting and stuff. So anyways, if I get, if I want something else, I'll eat some soup, but I just don't feel like cooking. I'll save it for tomorrow. I want to study and rest the rest of my Friday night. I don't know why. <clears throat> I forgot I can make this tripod shorter shorter so it could be in the kitchen with me on the counter tripping anyways damn i didn't think about that i don't put the food away but i just grabbed some little pizzas they each get one and they pretty much be happy with that we're having an easy night tonight so but I'm going to throw these. Listen, I used to be one of those people that didn't use their dishwasher. But now I can't live without one. I ain't going to be able to live without one now because it cuts so much time. And it helps keep my kitchen clean because, you know, sometimes you don't feel like it. Your energy is low and, and you feel overwhelmed. All these dishes in the sink, but... I just throw it in the dishwasher and it's out my face in like two or three minutes. So it helps me keep up with the kitchen. All right, so I'm, I'm about to put, I finished cleaning up the kitchen. I'm gonna throw the pizza in the oven. Throw the pizza in the oven and then I'm going to make my little magnesium drink. What do I do with it? Oh, shit. <clears throat> All right, so I'm gonna make my, my drink. I got my cup. Oh. I got my ice. 
I think this is supposed to be tart cherry tart juice or tart cherry. It's just cherry, so. And I'm not measuring anything. I put about this much juice. And then. The magnesium powder I got. Calm. Mm, it's not focusing. This was like twelve dollars. They have a big one. Um, I think it's like fifteen dollars, and it and it says to use two tablespoons. So that's what I put in here. Not tablespoons. Teaspoons. It does cause a fizz. Not really, like if you put the ice in and the juice, mainly the ice, the ice keeps it from fizzing. Cause one time I just put it in juice with no ice and it just, it fizzed all up. And all right, so I put that in there. I'm gonna top off my cup. This is how it looks. I don't look all that great, but I'm gonna top my cup up with uh, soda. It gives it a different color. And give it a straw. I need one of those little handheld blender things, but it mixed up pretty good. And that's what is that's what it's looking like and I got a little bit of soda left for tomorrow I need to clean out my fridge tomorrow I got stuff that needs to go but definitely not doing it tonight all right so I'm gonna sip on this I'm waiting on their pizza to get done does work it I feel a difference it makes me calm I mean you don't feel drunk or in the clouds or anything like that but it's just a very subtle chillness you have and I've I've been drinking it I did a couple drinks I guess about a week's worth I can definitely feel the difference it's something I'm gonna always have and keep keep doing But yeah, I'm gonna make my shrimp and I don't know if I'm gonna end the vlog here or if I'm gonna come back. All right, so I'm gonna end this vlog here. Um, I just, I watched some vlogs and I ate and I just let the kids pretty much do what they wanted to do till they fell asleep, so they sleep now. And um, I'm gonna catch up on my book so I've been trying to read a chapter per night, but I really can just read as much as I want to since I don't have to get up tomorrow. Today is Friday. So it's called um, The Two Lives of Sarah. And it's by this black author, Catherine Adele West. And she only has two books, but um, this is good so far. Um, I'm trying to tell you about it without giving any spoilers, but she's basically, she left her hometown and went to Memphis. Yeah, I think Memphis, Tennessee. And she she came pregnant and there's a whole story about how, behind how she got pregnant. And I think it's some kind of traumatic experiences what they keep hinting at. 
um, but she lives in a boarding house with a lot of people, and it's set back in like 1950. But um, it's a good book, it really is. And I want to catch up on it. It's due back next Tuesday. I might have to get extension. Hopefully, hopefully not. Hopefully, I get it finished before then. But um, I am enjoying it. So I was just sharing that book with y'all. So I'm gonna read my book and I'm gonna go to bed and I will talk to y'all next time. Bye.